But at some point in the Gene of You's come up, you get introduced to the No Jumper world. Explain your introduction to Planet No Jumper. Who brought you in? Just so that we can clear this up because AD always wants to be like, <laughs> I brought her around first. She was supposed to be on my show. AD did bring me around. Okay. Um, but I want to say in like maybe 2018 or 2017, there was like a tweet you had put out that you had wanted some personalities at the show. You wanted oh, some okay. like new LA people or whatever. So I retweeted it and told people to tag me and a bunch of people tagged me and you DM me. I forgot. Of course you don't remember. No. You DM me and you Fucking said. stupid white man. <laughs> it, shit. It's okay. You know better now. Right. Uh, you DM me and you was like, oh, pull up to the office or whatever, whatever. Um, I think y'all was still on at the Melrose? store at that time. Okay. Yeah. And then um, we talked about me coming, like potential dates. And then you was like, wait a minute, we're moving. It um, was like something like that. See, happening. the problem back then was I always used to like try to find talent. But then we also didn't have like employees that were really like a good system for us. Like, mm, filter. you know, I would yeah. get 500 DMs and I would like be like, fuck. And I would just fucking give Kinda up or forget about it. It was super overwhelming. Now yeah. we actually have it down mm -hmm. to a science better. So I feel like I'm like more ready to take on more yeah. personalities. Yeah. But yeah, that happened. I already knew, you know, who you were and what No Jumper was. And I remember being super like damn, like, he's doing exactly what I want to do, but on a higher level. Because uh -huh. you had, like, I had, like, local people, but you had the people who were, like, on the cusp of the world, almost, you know? Uh -huh. Like, they were about to, they all, they blew, or they were about to blow. Right. And I just thought that was just so fucking cool that you did that. I was like, I just want to get in his world and just learn from him, you know? Okay. Um, fast, fast forward. A couple years. A couple years, AD calls me and says, uh... I want you to come, and I think y'all had just did, like, I don't think he was even on the show yet. I don't know. He was doing the news, and we were, like, mm. trying to figure out who could do up. his podcast with mm -hmm. him or something, I think. He um he had called me, and he said, Adam is looking for personalities. Uh, come up there on Friday and do the live stream with us. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I came or whatever, and shit, COVID happened, right? Yeah, and I remember having to tell AD while we were doing that live stream because we were like watching music. Yeah. And the comments, of course, are talking all <laughs> kinds of shit and there's like misogynistic <laughs> stuff. And AD is like <laughs> high, <laughs> unfortunately, because he used to get like way too high. Like right. He would hit the blunt a few times and he would just be done. Mm -hmm. And he's just reading some of the mean ass comments towards you. <laughs> and he's laughing so hard. At some, and I had to tell him afterwards, I'm like, AD, you know, it's our first time. We should probably like not read all the comments because you know we want to take it easy on her and we yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. not but that he you know he just didn't really like know that you didn't have to read every comment. Right, right, right. No, it was cool though. But um, you weren't offended. No, you got thick skin from having to be around all these guys all these years. Yeah, like it's it. The thing too is like it's on the like these are not to like yeah they're real people in reality but mm -hmm. like those comments are like not from like real people right but i also wasn't reading them he was reading them and so it's coming from him we're laughing ha ha he right now if i probably would have sat there and skimmed through every single comment then i might have had my feelings hurt a little bit or felt you know right. a little weird but i remember ad um he hit me and was like send me um send me a reel of what the fuck ever you've done uh -huh. and he said do not send whole fashions <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I remember being like, oh my God, I need to go archive every single post, or Adam's going to think I'm a hoe and he's not going to take me serious. Listen, I know real hoes. And then I come <laughs> and find out, oh, he does porn. Yeah, and I don't <laughs> fucking care. And yeah, I mean, I, I, I know the biggest hoes on yeah, earth. Yeah. So, I mean, the last thing I would be <laughs> offended by was like, oh, she sits in her underwear and does the show. <laughs> Yeah, that, that very much doesn't even hit the radar of me thinking like, oh, wow, she's, she's out there. Yeah, no, they were like super scared, like, leave it out. Don't include whole fashion. So when I came, I'm like, oh, my God, he could never find out about whole fashion. Like, I was so nervous. Right. It was, it was, oh, he did. And so then from your perspective, how did it go from you potentially being on AD's shit to Mad Lately coming out? Okay, around? so AD had hit me again after the whole debacle with, you know, with them. Look. Uh -huh. the, the two girls and he was like oh, it was after he had the viral episode with Yassi and OT no oh thoughts next door 
Oh, okay. So right. That, I think that, you were getting yeah. dragged at this time. This was an intense time. People yeah, were very upset was, about Thoughts Night Story. And then I had tweeted. I tweeted. I chimed in on it. Uh, and I tweeted, uh, Adam really got these bitches up there like I'm not sitting right here. Oh, Adam <laughs> gave these bitches a show like I'm not sitting right here. Wow. I tweeted that. And then you retweeted it or favorited it or something. But it got a bunch of retweets after mm. that. So AD had called me like, I'm glad you tweeted that. Like, you good. You in. Whatever. Uh-huh. Like, we got a show. So he was like, think of a name. Um, in the midst of that, he was like going, I don't forget if he was in Mexico or where the hell he was at, but he had went out of town. So we was talking, we was coming up with names and like different concepts and stuff. And he had told me like, I don't want to do the rapper thing. Like, I don't want to do us interviewing rappers. Like Adam already has that. Mm-hmm. Let's come up with some other stuff. Cause that's all I was coming up with was like shit that was like, you know, with rappers. Mm-hmm. And I want to say like two days later, maybe Vic hit me and said, hey, I got a show on No Jumper. Mm-hmm. And I remember you like, how the fuck he get a show on No Jumper? <laughs> and I'm just a co-host. <laughs> but um, he was like, I got a show on No Jumper. Adam said, I can get whoever I want. You the first person I thought of. Let's do it. So I sent the screenshot to AD. AD called me like, that's dope because we both want you. Mm. So I'm like, cool. Like, you know, I'm going to be on AD show and I'm going to be on Vic show. And that's how it's going to happen. And then me, Gabe, and Vic went and took pictures. And when we went to take the pictures and then we came in, AD had called me and said, why did you do that? And I'm like, what? He said, they think you want to do Mad Lately and not my show because you did pictures with them. So I was like, I'm going to just do both. And he said, no, I got Yassi. Ooh, so you're saying it's on him. I like it. No, that's not what I'm saying. As long as it's not on me. If it's not on me. It's on y'all. It's on AD. But Aha, we'll blame him. I don't even think, I, I think that the situation, the way it played out, it was meant to be. Because I just can't imagine how I would feel if I was in her seat that day. That would have been with weird. With the OT shit. Well, I feel like it would have been totally different. You wouldn't have been calling them weird, right? I wouldn't have been calling them weird. Yeah. Probably would have been a different situation. But I was just thinking like, damn, if that's like a best friend's day and I bring my friend and then his friend is there and we're all loaded, like where would that conversation have gone? Would you get loaded like that on camera? No. Well, those the girls weren't drunk. Oh, just them two. I think just the guys were drunk. <laughs> or if the girls were drinking at all, they were drinking very little in comparison. I'm a very, uh, very, very lightweight. Mm, like, I would have guessed that. Yeah, I one shot, I'm one and done. Right. That's it. And I'm a sleep drunk too. So really? I'll go to sleep. Yeah. You're not gonna catch me. Ha 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 loud. <laughs> <laughs> so you you don't think you would be good on camera drunk? Uh, no, right. not at all. I actually though that clip that I was making the noises and stuff, I am drunk on that clip. Where you're laughing your ass off? No, 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 no. It's it's on my Instagram. It's oh. else, but I was making like mouth noises, dinosaurs, whatever. You do have a distinctive got. laugh. When you really <laughs> laugh, it's like ah, ah, ah. Like the fans know it. They hear it in the background sometimes. <laughs> because See, that like, was a mini version of it. <laughs> When something is so funny to me, you know, they say, oh, I'm dead. I can't breathe. Right. I really can't fucking breathe. <laughs> like. Sounds like <laughs> that, yeah. Hey, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe. We just hit 200K. We're trying to get to 300K. Turn us up. Appreciate y'all. Let's go.